What's going on, Dragon Brawlers? <laughs> I'm Scott Sermon, Guildmaster here at Players Guild, joined by Loki Smith, our archivist. Today we are going over the... Uh, why do I want to say red? It's green. He's literally wearing green. The green... He's also an old green deck. G Sun Gohan U7 Star Deck for the Zenkai Series 3. We're going to talk about it, and then we're going to ask, is it good? Based on the Star Deck exclusive cards, because this deck actually does come with a reprint of uh, Shin at 4, so immediately that's where picking up a few actually play the game. And uh, also comes, this deck comes out with a reprint of a Super, which does, the other deck doesn't. Yeah, Strength of Legends good. Yeah. Um, so let's break it down. It's Sun Gohan, it's 10k, it's a Warriors of Universe 7, so already an exciting keyword to start off with. Uh, do you want to take us away of what universe, Warriors of Universe 7 is for those who might not know? It removes specified cost from the cost of cards with Universe 7 a trait. Which means it doesn't remove the specified cost from the skills, mm -hmm. but it removes it from if you want to play the card from hand. Yeah. It's so, a keyword in, introduced in Tournament of Power. It's a fun keyword. Um, so permanent, you can't include non-Universe 7 battle cards or multicolor cards in your deck. I have a question. Mm -hmm. Is it a non-universe seven multicolor cards, or flat out multicolor cards? I think it's flat out multicolor cards. I think so because they started doing that, including or, both. Or means and, sometimes. Yeah. And then not others. When this card attacks, draw one card. When this, when your life is at four or less, or there are four or more colors among cards in your energy, Z energy, battle area, drop and warp, you may draw one card. Switch up to one energy to active, and then go down to six if you're not already, um, and then you awaken. So that's actually a pretty neat awakening, right? Just go if rainbow. Want, if you want to sacrifice enough cards, that's why you can't do the multicolors. Because mm. then it'd be so easy to awaken. Yeah, yeah. two cards and you're done. Yep. Uh, but you can still awaken on turn one. Mm. Yeah, it's doable. It, it's not impossible, right? Because you just need four cards somewhere, and you know. Charge one, mm -hmm. play, let's say charge yellow, play the blue Goku that searches universe seven yeah. in the top cards, yeah. add, say, green or red, then attack, combo green and red, one goes to the energy, one goes to drop, you sort it, awaken. That's a good point, yeah. That's a good point. So that T.O.P. one drop tutor is going to be suddenly very important. Yep. And then we awaken into Son Gohan, command of universe seven. I see a lot of colors. Yeah, I see. Brain. Why do I see black in there? Let's go through it. It's a 15k Warriors of Unit 7. When this card attacks, draw a card and then activate main once per turn. Yellow or black. If you have three or more energy, you play up to one Universe 7 card with an original cost of three from your hand. Why is the black in there? So you can charge Shin. Sure. Okay, I'm fine with that. Uh, and thing thing is, it needs to be specifically cost of free. Mm -hmm. like not, not free or less. less, yeah. It has to be free. So you're looking at a curve of just free drops in the deck, which can be cloggy, but I believe the freezer was a free drop from the reveals from the promos. Yes, 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 that, that so was a free drop. Yeah, so there's some synergy with that kind of play style, which I think works. Yeah. Um, and then so activate battle once per turn. Red, blue, those are the colors of Invoker. Choose it to Ooh. one of you. Choose it to one of your Universe 7 Sun Gohan Adolescences Z Battle Cards and play up to one Universe 7 Z Battle Card without Sun Gohan Adolescence with an energy cost of two from under it. So this allows you to play the Goku out from underneath your Goku Gohan. Yeah. Uh, I'm very quickly checking something. He is just quickly checking something. Yes. Sorry, I'm going to come back to the card shortly i just need to because if i remember correctly there's one free drop that is going to be fairly problematic uh with this effect if i can just find the bloody thing because i don't do... the card was meta relevant Ooh, i'm like, i'm kind of i'm curious to see what's going on guys let us know in the comments below what do you think this card is or does it even it, exist? Oh, yeah, it's <laughs> it lucky exist. going crazy. I, you know. Oh, Swift, uh, Swift, Swift Dis Dispo. Yeah, I mean that card's. Yeah, that definitely. Yeah, very, very yeah good Universe card. Seven card. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Uh, this is yes. Oh, 
He's Universe 7. I remembered correctly. Okay, so the card... Path to Greatness. Loki is talking about his son Goku. Path to Greatness, which thankfully has been reprinted in time. So yeah, it's yeah, not yeah, as yeah. expensive as it originally was. Um, but what, did it, what does uh, Son Goku Path to Greatness do? Because I don't think a lot of people will know that if they've come to the game post. Uh, so the fact is that it is mostly in yellow. So if you build this Gohan in the yellow, it actually works with that activate main skill very yeah. well. Because you pay one yellow to play him from hand. Mm -hmm. It has barrier. When it's played, you rest one of your opponent's battle cards and draw one card. And then you can swap into Height of Mastery if you have seven cards in the drop and you pay four yellow. Yeah. That is... And Height of Mastery is, of course, a dual attack, triple strike, rest three of your opponent's cards. The fact that you can bring this out, I think this is going to be a really good card because it's a free drop. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I remembered correctly that this is a thing. And obviously Barrier, so it's ca it can yeah, be it's, somewhat it's, protected. And it's um, 19k as well. But it's yeah, a small thing. Like you got the 5 energy, you literally go into Height of Mastery. Even, and even if you don't go into Height of Mastery, even if you don't run the Height of Mastery package yeah. there, the fact that you can drop this, rest something of your opponent, draw a card, you drop a cantrip. Yeah. It's, with a barrier that can then evolve into other Gokus. Yeah, you because it's still a Goku that can evolve. You can bait out a lot of things, yeah. Yeah, um, exactly. Yeah, no, I, I think that's a really good shout. Actually, really good shout. Because I remember there was a thing about this something with the Universe Seven that was being used in the past. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. It, so, uh, yeah, that's just the leader effect. That's a very interesting leader. Um, yes. I like how it works with, as you've mentioned, Path to Greatness. That's pretty cool. Um, but it also works with other free costs, and it also allows to work with the Z cards that were yes. introduced in the set, which I think makes sense. It's I mean, a starter. It's an important one that you don't create a starter deck that doesn't work with what you have in the set. Cough, cough, freeze up. Cough, cough. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. What, what do you mean? I, like, I, what do you mean? You're some more Series 10. What? No. Series 1. Uh, yeah, true, or, or, true, true. What, what do I mean? A super combo designed for Frieza that can't be included in the Frieza deck. That's fine. Um, um, then we have a Z battle card for the deck, which is a red Z battle card. Two cost, two specified red, of course, with Warriors of Universe 7, you don't need to pay that. Piccolo, Master Student Technique. Uh, 2Z Energy, 20,000 power. When it's played at the end of the turn, choose one of your opponent's battle cards or Unisense and minus 20 power for the turn. That is interesting because that's a lingering. Effect. Yeah, right, so you, you, you bang it down. No and matter then, what happens to this card, there is going to be a minus 20k. Yes, and the fact is that you get to do to the field what you want. And it doesn't. You don't need to interact with the field that is currently there. You can interact with the field that's going to show up later. Yeah, right. If you're predicting a counterplay or something. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I dig this. I dig this as an effect. Or battle tricks, things like that. Yeah, I, 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 I actually really like this. Uh, activate main limit one. If there are four or more colors among cards in your energy, the energy battle area drop and warp. <laughs> Play up to one universe seven Gohan adolescence with energy cost of 2 or less from under this card and place this card under the played card. So that's how you keep on swip rotating it. Swip and swap, yeah. So you can play him actually multiple times. Yeah, I, 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 I dig it. I, I actually dig it. Oh, that's quite cool. And we have... Freezer! Unexpected assistance! One drop, a 1z energy, a blocker, when a Universe 7 Sun Goku card in your battle area is attacked, negate the attack and negate the skill for the game. I give... I mean, it's it's a one negate body ten k. Well, you don't get to choose it. That's true. Hmm. That's interesting. Uh, it's a blocker, right? I yeah, like I mean, there's other things I would look at my Z deck for though. Yeah. Like, because it is so limited on space. Yeah, yeah, having only seven cards and you have the Z stack mechanic as well yeah. for the deck. So. True. Speaking of Z stack, Son Gohan, Master Student Technique. Uh, two drop yellow this time with one specified cost, one Z energy, 16,000 power. Blocker, Z stack 2 for Universe 7 battle cards with different character names. So it's not only different names, different character names. Mm. So you can't have two Piccolos, but you can have Piccolo Goku, you can have Piccolo and Android 17, etc. Mm. When this card is played from your Z deck, only from the Z deck, it gains barrier until end of your opponent's next turn. Okay, Decent. I like it. It's going to stick around for a while. Uh, activate battle, limit one. If there are four more colors among your stuff, and it's your opponent's turn, play up to one Universe 7 Piccolo Z battle card with 
an energy cost of two from under this card and place this card under the played card. So the switchy swatchy, yeah. yeah. So they keep on switching. Although uh, you don't get the when this card is played from the Z-Deck effect if you yeah. bring him out from underneath Piccolo. Um, it's interesting, in a way. Yeah. Uh, I'm not, you know, I'm not sold on it, but it is interesting. That's fair. Uh, moving on, another Piccolo. Piercing Flash, free cost, free specified blue, but obviously you can pay one for yeah. your leader. Uh, double strike, when this card is played, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and place it at the bottom of the center deck. Just spin double a card strike, that doesn't yeah. have barrier. Um, and also one drop, double strike. Uh, activate main, limit one. If your leader has a warrior... One energy. One energy. If your leader has Warriors of Universe 7, choose up to one of your Universe 7 Sun Gohan adolescence cards with 20k or more and switch it to active uh, Or less and switch it to active mode. Really actually like this effect. Wait. This is this also is not once per turn. This doesn't say battle card. Wait, what? Choose up to one of your Universe 7 Son Gohan adolescent cards with 20,000 power or less and switch it to active. Oh, so you can get sw uh, two swings. You can, you can untap your leader. Yeah, and draw two. Yeah. 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 Ah, that's pretty good. That's cool. Yeah, I like that. That's, fun. that's a vibe. That's a vibe. Yeah, because I just read the cards. I skimmed through them earlier, but that is really cool because you pay one to play it. You have the double strike and spin. And then you can pay another one to restart your leader. That's why it's limit one, so you can't restart your leader so many times. Yeah, yeah, I actually like this, right? I think this, I think this works. It's a nice touch that they uh, didn't give leader the once per turn on the attack. Yes, yes, it's a nice touch because they could, they very they could, easily could. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this is ha this has an errata errata incoming. <laughs> There's also that. <laughs> uh, one drop, Krillin, clever fighter. So one drop, four thousand power. When this card is played, look at the five cards from the top of your deck, add up to one Universe 7 card with cost of three or less to your hand, and shuffle your deck, and limit one, pay one, send this card from your drop to your warp. When an Android 18 perfect teamwork is placed from your Z Energy in your drop, play that card. Which one is that? It's the green one that comes up next, I think. Ah. Um, which we'll look at. Sure. Yes, it is. You are correct. So... Just very quickly, she needs to be put from Z energy in your drop and then you pay one energy to play her. Yeah, so paying for Z energy. Yeah. That is quite cool. Uh, so, yeah, free drop. Uh, sorry, Android 18, perfect teamwork. Free drop, two specified green. When this card's played, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards. When it's cost of five or less, NKO it. Nice. Just. Yeah. It's fine. Nice and simple. Uh, I mean, she comes out for one, so. Uh, activate battle, limit one. If your leader one energy, if your leader is Warrior Universe Seven, <laughs> and your Universe Seven card in Combar, and the Universe Seven card is in your Combaria, and it's your turn. Draw a card and play this card from your hand. Hmm. Okay, so you need to combo something. So this is a really scary card, isn't it? I think so. Because it's a free drop. You can play it with your leader easily. Yeah. You get to combo whatever and then pay one to play her. She replaces herself. She removes the battle card with cost five or less. Yeah, opponent swings with a 5k or less without barrier. Yeah. Goes in. Combo one user. No, it needs to be during your turn. Yeah. It, yes. It's yes, your you're right, turn. you're right. So it's got to be an offensive. Yeah, you're right. Okay. That's so a, it's, still, yeah. it's still decent. But then you combo her off. She goes to the Z energy. Yeah. And then you play yeah, as the battle and, and bring then it back out again, yeah. Krillin. Okay, yeah, I actually think that I think that works. So that's I nice... was fully expecting her to remove herself, but no. That's actually quite a nice lot to play, actually. That Krillin and Android 18 is a perfect teamwork. Yeah. Because it doesn't matter if you have that Krillin early or late. You don't need to draw them together. You just need to draw them at the same time at some point. Mm. You just save your Z energy for her at some point. Yeah. I think this deck is going to have a huge potential, or at least... It's, it's those two cards, uh, Krillin and Android 18, are going to have a huge potential with the Z Express. Yeah, I can see that. Um, there's a lot that I kind of like in this um, starter deck, but I'm hesitant to say it's good. I think... It doesn't feel like it has a boss. I mean, it, it does in the actual deck of Strength of Legends, but yeah, I yeah. get what you're saying, right? Like, it... it 
there's no the archetype powerful... is not designed to have a boss. Yeah, it, this is very much a, an attrition based deck. Like, yeah. I'm going to be swinging in, I'm going to hit you, I'm going to restand, I'm going to hit you. Oh, this card's gone, and no, it's back in, I'm going to hit you again. Yeah, yeah. And, I, and you know, that's a bit of like a melee that does feel like it's on a power. Um, and perhaps we're just overlooking a lot of things because like we'd have to look at the list of u7 cards and be like okay free drops u7 okay okay i'm just good but that's it that's a very long list as i said i was TLP, just right like, I, was... I i had just a vague remembrance that path to greatness has a uh, universe seven and ended up being correct so i think it's a leader and deck with potential um but right now i would say you know it's fine I, I would say it's fine, right? Like you couldn't go wrong picking up this. I think it's a bit complex for a starter. To be fair, there's a lot of go moving on pieces. Um, yes, but you also need to remember that it is just how Dragon Ball is right now. That's true. Um, but yeah, if I, you don't, if you can't get that from a starter deck, then you're going to be cheated. If you just get the starter decks like you had in set three, mm. just put down cards and swing stuff. Yeah, and just, then you go to play against someone with their own deck, then you're going to feel like. The starter deck did not introduce you to a game. Yeah, that, no, that's a that's a valid point. Like a Yu-Gi-Oh decks mostly with uh, starter decks mostly made with vanillas. Yeah, uh, that's a valid point. That is a valid point. Um, so yeah, I mean, let us know in the comments below what do you think of this deck. Do you really like this Gohan U7? Uh, I mean, prefer. I, I'm still biased. I really love that blue Gohan U7 leader. <laughs> oh, the the, the original TOP one. Yeah, it's absolutely amazing. Yeah, uh, Shishun like has so many cool decks yeah. around that, and yeah. But I am excited to play with this leader. That is something I will end this video on a positive with. Is I'm excited to play with this leader and mess around with her decks because I think it's fun. Yeah, I think I think I agree. That is good note to end the video. And we'll see you next time.